In this video, we are going to understand how to solve pair of linear equations in two variables. Also, we will understand what are consistent pair of equations and what are non-consistent pair of equations by graphically. Hello my awesome students. Welcome back to Akshar Vidyale. My name is Nena and I make videos related to NCRT solutions for classes 9 to 12th. Starting with the exercise 3.2 of class 10th and name of the chapter is pair of linear equations in two variables right so the equations linear equations if the linear equations are given in two variables the first variable is x and the second variable is y then pair means because two equations are given to us so that's why the name is pair of linear equations in two variables and what does it mean by linear equations means the power of the variables is one so that's why these are called as the linear equations okay so we have to understand that how to find out the solution of these two equations means how to find out the values of x and y right so there is one rule which is given before your exercise 3.2 which is what that you have to remember these things like these we have to solve these two equations on the graph we will plot these two equations in the graph so you have learned how to plot the lines on the graph in your class 9th and your class 8th also and in the exercise 3.1 also how to plot the lines on the graph so suppose how these two lines what are the possible cases for these two lines that these two lines can be parallel to each other right so if these two lines are parallel to each other then what is the condition that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by v2 but c1 by c2 will not be equal and there will be no solution means there will be no such value of x and y so that both the equations are satisfied okay so that both the equations will not have any common value of x and y because you can see that both are having different values in each and every case so so the another name for this kind of equation is what this is inconsistent pair of equations then another possible way that how to draw these two lines these two lines will be intersecting each other at a single point so that are called as that there is exactly one solution so how many intersecting points of the lines will be there same number of solutions will be there for the lines so the lines are intersecting each other at a single point then they will be called as there is exactly one solution and another name for this is consistent pair of equations right and another name for this is consistent pair of equations okay and the third one third possible value is what that they are intersecting each other at more than one point so one is they are not intersecting at each other then they are intersecting at one point and then the third possible case is that they are intersecting each other at more than one point so these type of lines are called as coincident lines and they have infinitely many solutions and the name is dependent so the name for this is dependent consistent pair of equations okay so you have to remember these three names very carefully because most of the questions in your exam will be depending upon this table only okay and you have to understand you have to remember this this value also that what is the condition when the lines are intersecting each other what is the condition when there is exactly one solution and for all the values you have to remember this condition okay so now let's start with the examples first solve the examples and then we will move on to the exercise 3.2 so what is the question says that check graphically whether the pair of equations is consistent if so solve them graphically so for consistent we have to tell them that the equations are consistent or not so for the consistent of the equation what will be the possible case that there will be exactly one solution means the lines will be intersecting at exactly one point 
okay so how to plot the graph how to plot these values on the graph that we will first make a table and then we will check that this is x and this is y right so first we will check that put the value of x is equal to 0 if my x is equal to 0 then what will be the value of y the equation is what x plus 3y is equal to 6 if x is 0 then my answer will be what my answer will be 3y is equal to 6 so y will be equal to what y will be equal to 2 because this 3 is being multiplied here so when it will go to the right hand side it will be divided and it will become 6 by 3 which is equal to 2 so x is 0 then y is equal to what y is equal to my 2 similarly let's put now that y is equal to 0 so if y is equal to 0 then my x will be equal to what my x will be equal to 6 similarly we can find out the values for the second equation which is what which is my 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 okay so if x is 0 this complete will become 0 so 0 minus 3y will be equal to 12 so my minus 3y will be equal to 12 so y will be equal to what y will be equal to minus 4 because this minus 3 is being divided here so 12 by 3 will become minus 4 similarly I can put that in place of y is equal to 0 is equal to 12 then 2x will be equal to 12 so my x will be equal to 6 this 12 will be divided by this then y is 0 then x will be equal to what x will be equal to 6 okay so now we can plot these two points on the graph so the first point on the graph is what first point on the graph is 0 comma 2 means 0 comma 2 means the point will be where point will be on the y axis you have learned all these things how to plot the points on the graph in the class 9th also right the second thing is 6 comma 0 so 6 will be where 6 will be on the x axis and y coordinate is 0 so my answer will be 6 comma 0 so now what i have to do i will join these two points and i will get equation of my line which is x plus 3y is equal to 6 right then the second 0 comma minus 4 where will be my 0 comma minus 4 it will be in the negative side of the y axis 0 comma minus 4 and the second point is 6 comma 0 so this will be the my same point now i will join these two lines and we'll get now i will join these two points and i will get the equation of the line equation of the line is 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 so now you can see that these two equation of the lines are intersecting at one common point so we can say that from that table we can say that the lines are intersecting at one point and the point is what point is 6 comma 0 so that means my lines are consistent to each other. so this is the way that you have to solve all the questions in this exercise 3.2 you have to plot them graphically and then match your result with that table and whatever is the result matching that will be our final answer okay so moving to next example example number five find whether the following pair of equations has no solution unique solution or infinitely many solution to we can find out the values that a1 by a2 first and b1 by b2 and then c1 by c2 so what i will get i will get a1 by a2 is what this is my 5 by 3 right b1 by b2 is what b1 is my minus 8 and b2 is my minus 24 by 5 and c1 is what c1 is my 1 and c2 is my 3 by 5 okay so if i am going to solve these values then this will be only 5 by 3 only but this pair minus and minus will get cancelled out this pair will become what this is 24 by 5 when i will move up the side then it will become 5 by 24 then it will also become 
5 by 3 and this will also get reciprocal 1 upon 3 by 5 how we write it in the mathematics we do the reciprocal means 1 is being divided by 3 by 5 and when this division sign will change into multiplication then the terms gets reversed so answer will be 5 by 3 so you can see that both the all the values are coming equal to each other means a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 which is equal to c1 by c so from this table what you can say that a1 by a2 is equal to b a, b1 by b2 which is equal to c1 by c2 so that means the lines have infinitely many solutions so without plotting the graph we have proved the question so we can say that the lines have infinitely many solutions okay now moving to another example example number six which says that champa wants to uh, do a sale to purchase some pens and some skirts right so let us suppose that the number of pens purchased is x and the number of skirts purchased is y you can take any value for pens you can take pens is y x also you can take pens as y also and skirts as x also it's your choice the answer will going to be same so what the question says that when her friends asked her how many of each she had bought so she answered that the number of skirts the number of skirts is two less than twice the number of the pens purchased so what is the number of twice the number of the pens purchased will be 2x right because the number of pens purchased is x then twice will be 2x and it is saying that 2 less than twice so twice is this and 2 less than this also so this will be my first equation so how i can write it down i can write it down that 2x this y will come to the right hand side and this 2 will go to this side so my answer will be 2x minus y is equal to 2 this is my first linear equation then the second linear equation is that also the number of skirts the number of skirts is what y is 4 less than the 4 times the number of the pens but the same statement is there again 4 times the number of the pens is 4x and then the 4 less is minus 4 okay so if i will take this to the right hand side it will become 4x minus y and this 4 will go to the left hand side it will become positive so these will be my two linear equations and and we have to tell them that how many number of pens and how many number of skirts are there okay so how we can find out we have i have told you the process earlier also that first imagine that x is equal to 0 so because of this negative sign with the y my y will become equal to what my y will become equal to minus 2 and if my y is equal to 0 then my statement will reduce to 2x is equal to 2 so that means x is equal to 1 similarly if my x is equal to 0 then y will become equal to what y will become equal to minus 4 then if my y is equal to 0 then my x will be equal to what my x will be equal to 1 okay so i have to plot these points on the graph 0 comma minus 2 y coordinate is minus 2 so it will be 0 comma minus 2 and the second point is 1 comma 0 so this point is what this point is my 1 comma 0 so now join these two points and you will get the line of equation and the line of the equation is 2x minus y is equal to 2 similarly for this second point 0 comma minus 4 this will be my second point 0 comma minus 4 and this is what this point is my 1 comma 0 so this is the same point 1 comma 0 now join these two points and you will get the equation for the second line so you can say that these two lines are intersecting each other at one point so that means the 
सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव इमेजिन दैट द नंबर ऑफ पेंट्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ स्कर्ट्स इज इक्वल टू वाई सो दैट मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ पेंट्स परचेज इज वन एंड द नंबर हैज़ बॉट ओनली वन पेंट एंड नो स्कर्ट शी हैज परचेज ओके इज फाइव पॉइंट टू now moving to exercise 3.2 and the very first question is that from the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solution so how to convert it into the problem 10 students from class 10th took part in mathematics quiz right if the number of girls so now they are talking about number of girls and the number of boys so let us imagine that the number of girls is x and the number of boys is what number of boys is equal to y they are saying that number of girls is four more than the number of boys number of girls are four more so to make both them equal so what i will do i will do addition of four in the number of the boys right so next find the number of the boys and the girls who took part in the quiz okay so we have to find out the number of the boys and the girls who took part in the quiz so this is my first linear equation and the second linear equation is what total of how many students are there total of 10 students are there means x plus y is equal to what x plus y is equal to 10 so let's find out the value of x and y from these two equations and then plot them graphically first they are saying that x is equal to zero. How to find out the points? First, imagine that x is equal to zero. If my x will be equal to zero, then this four will go to the left hand side, and y will become equal to minus four. Then, if my y is equal to zero, then my x will become equal to what? X will become equal to four. Again, if x is equal to zero, then y will be equal to what? Y will be equal to ten. If my y is equal to zero, then my x will be equal to what? My x will be equal to ten. Okay. So now let's plot them on the graph. So minus four means y will be minus four and x will be zero. So this is my first point. Then the second point is four comma zero means this will be my second point. X is four and y is zero. So now, if I am going to join these two points, then I will get the equation of the first line. So this is my equation for the first line, which is x is equal to y plus four. Then coming to the second line, zero comma ten. Zero comma ten means y coordinate is ten and x coordinate is zero. So this will be zero comma ten. And this second point is. 10 comma 0 means x coordinate is 10 and the y coordinate is 0. So now join these two points also and you will get the equation for the second line. So this will be what? This will be x plus y बराबर x plus y is equal to 10. So now you can see that these two lines are intersecting at this point. So you can see from the graph that the lines are intersecting at one point, and the coordinates of that point is seven comma three. How seven comma three? Because this is coming in the middle, and this point is also coming in the middle on the y-axis. So the coordinates of this point are seven comma three. So that means the number of girls will be seven, and the number of boys will be what? Number of boys will be equal to three. Okay. If you find my video useful for you then please do like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more updates of my new videos in the next video we will solve some more questions of exercise 3.2 till then take